the battle between Senator Ahmed Lawan and Bashir Machina to clinch the central ticket of Yobe North has not ended. This time the battle has moved to the court. As Inex says, only a law court can determine who is the authentic candidate of the party. In the list published by INEC, the name of Ahmed Lawan was conspicuously missing. Now Bashir Machina will have to wait for the court to determine the authenticity of his candidature. And joining me to talk about it is Hussein Mohammed Isa. He is a media aide to Bashir Sharif Machina. Welcome to the program, sir. Thank you. So, what's the status of um, Bashir Machina's candidacy as I speak? Okay, Femi, let me start the conversation this way. Uh, you know, the office of the Senate President is a very respected office. And whoever occupies that office, should know that there is a moral responsibility attached to that office, which he or she need to uphold. Mm. So Ahmed Lawan, as a Senate president in the first place, wouldn't have allowed his name to be dragged into this matter. Because when you look at it clearly, it amounts to clear violation of Section 31 of the Electoral Act that was just signed by Mr. President. Why am I saying this? You know, according to the Electoral Act, a valid primary election must be conducted by any political party to produce a candidate. In the case of Yobe Not, a primary election was conducted on the 28th of May this year. And that primary election produced Bashir Sharif Machina as authentic flag bearer of APC. Did Ahmed Lawan contest in that? No, he didn't actually. But the chairman said he contested. The chairman said. No, I don't know. Where, I don't know where he got his information from, but from you can see from the INEC report, the CTC that we got from the INEC, the only candidate that participated in that primary election uh, still remain uh, Bashir Sharif Machina. So that primary election that the national chairman was referring to, I don't know of that one, and I believe INEC too. So when you look at it. At that particular primary election, all security agencies, uh, INEC, media, delegates, everybody were around uh, when this primary election was conducted. And 289 delegates voted for uh, the candidacy of Bashir Sharif Machina. So along the line, we started hearing some rumors that... Uh, the party wanted to substitute the name of uh, Bashir Sharif Machina. Without his consent. Without his consent. So we felt that there is need for us to write a letter to the national chairman of APC, stating clearly that we are still, that Bashir Machina is still in the race, and he is not stepping down for anybody. And that letter was duly received by the office of the national chairman. So all of a sudden, we just saw a list of candidates that was sent to INEC by the party. And at that particular time, we are already trying to finish all the, all the uh, distance that is required by the law. So when we got this information, in fact, even before we got this information, we also wrote another letter to the uh, chairman of INEC stating clearly that Bashir Sharif Machina is still in that race. But uh, I don't know, along the line, the national chairman still went ahead, despite receiving that letter, and sent the name of Ahmed Lawn to INEC. But I believe INEC has uh, done the right thing by not uh, publishing the name of Ahmed Lawn, particularly among the uh, list that they released just yesterday. That was um, the name of um, Bashir Machina published? No, it wasn't, but the, the, the INA Commissioner on Information came out and explained the reason. And we are satisfied with that because the law says that it is the party that has the right to send the name of candidate to INEC. So in this case, the party refused to send the name of the candidate that won the ballot primary election. So instead of INEC to go ahead and publish the name of Ahmad Lawn, it decided 
to wait for the court order. And we have already gone to the court, and uh, definitely that court order will come. Mm. Okay, but what does this say about um, the party, uh, the leadership of the party? Do, do you see a betrayal of trust? No, you know, there is, it may be, I, I may not say so, but what, I'm, what I may say here is... You're trying it, to be careful and politically correct. No, yeah, but it is an irony if the national leadership of, uh, the leadership of uh, APC will, let me say, allow, or let me say, it is very unfortunate if the party will do this thing deliberately. Because up to today, we are still contemplating whether this thing was done deliberately. Because I wonder if uh, the party, despite knowing all the rules, will still go ahead and send somebody's name who did not even uh, participate in the, in the primary election that was held uh, in, uh, on the 28th of May this year. Mm. So we are, still, we are still looking at the issue. We may not say it's a betrayal, but at least something was done wrongly. Mm. So would you say um, there are some vested interests within the party or in the country who would prefer a Senator Ahmed Lawa returning to the National Assembly than having Bashir Sharif Machina, who won the primary election, coming to the National Assembly. But what is the reason? What is the reason for that? Maybe we should ask them. That's what I'm saying. Uh -huh. <laughs> but don't you think because uh, some people are pulling the strings somewhere? Anyway, because when you, have, when you have something, when you have an objective, at least, when you have a project, at least that project should have an objective. If you are, if you are desperate in bringing back Ahmed Lawan to the Senate, you ought to have advised him not to go into that presidential contest in the first place. That would have given him the opportunity to participate in the primary election, the senatorial primary election, and subsequently uh, become the flag bearer of the party and eventually win the election. Maybe, maybe also why some people prefer Ahmed Lawan's return to the Senate, though he, uh, he, like you are saying that uh, th there, there are issues now that, and that will be settled by the court. Maybe it's because of the way he has uh, led the National Assembly in these um, present democratic dispensations. But w w now let me ask you. You know, I'm alone, it is true that, that in the last three years we have seen some developments, particularly in the Senate. But when you make a move, you understand, but to, to, to bring down the achievement that you have achieved so far, it means it will give you, it will give another meaning to whatever you have achieved so far. Mm -hmm. For example, Ahmad Lawan superheads the National Assembly that passed the new electoral act. So it will be a very great mistake for him mm -hmm. to also allow himself to be, to allow his name to be dragged into this matter because it is a clear violation of that same electoral act that they passed. Because when you look at the section 31, it clearly stated that the only, there are only two ways that you can substitute a candidate. And Ahmad Lawan, I believe, knows all these provisions. So I wonder if he has achieved anything in the Senate. He ought to have allowed himself to be a statement that he is so that his image will not be dented, but especially uh, in the eyes of the public. Yeah, in this whole um, controversy, what are the people of Yobi North saying? Because this concerns them. It's about who goes to the National Assembly to represent them, who goes to the Senate to represent them. What are they saying in all of this? They have, they have spoken already. You know, when you look at the voting, the, the, the vote that they cast during the primary election, you realize that the people of Yobe North are overwhelmingly behind the uh, behind Bashir Sharif Machina. I'm alone has been in the Senate for the past 16 years. If you complete this, is uh, fourth tenure. So when you look at it, is uh, basically uh, uh, Ahmad uh, Bashir Sharif Machina commands a lot of followership in the district. 
he has been a very uh, honest politician. He has served in various capacities. He has delivered well. And he has the support of many people. Uh, I believe uh, maybe uh, your reporter went to the solidarity rally that was held in Ahmad Lawrence's hometown. When you look at the turnout of people, you realize that a lot of people, particularly APC supporters, are behind the candidacy of Bashir Sharif Mantina. Well, that's the program this week. You can see a repeat of this episode on TVC News YouTube channel. Do not forget to subscribe, like, and share. Also, follow me on Twitter. My handle is at Femi Akonde. TVC. Thank you for watching. See you next time.